we've got this Rise of the Tomb Raider coming out only for the Xbox One. Well, and... I saw something today that it might change. It might also be in the 360 after a certain point. Okay, that's still fucking stupid. <laughs> okay, I just saw that reported really recently, as in like 10 minutes ago, but all right. So here's the deal. I feel like exclusives that aren't coming from the company that has a vested interest in the machine are dumb. Um, I feel like a lot of money had to have been thrown their way to make this an Xbox One exclusive because the Xbox One is not doing particularly well. What was insulting to me was the letter from the head of the team to the fans Mm -hmm. stating that we still respect our players on the PS4 and blah, 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 but at this point in time, we think the Xbox One is just more suited to our vision. Ah! How? How? (laughs) Both systems are basically essentially the same. The (laughs) PS4 actually runs slightly better. So how is it better suited? Because you got a lot of fucking money? Oh, consolation prize. And I'm sure it's going to be good, because the first one's good, too. You guys still get the weird, like, multiplayer gauntlet, like, dungeon crawler game, you know, Rise of Temple of Cyrus, or whatever it is. But you don't get, uh, you know, Rise of the Tomb Raider. And I just, I don't really have a whole lot more to say on it other than that. It's ridiculous to just uh, purposely limit yourself to one console. I guess the money the publishers got paid for it to be exclusive to Microsoft, they felt outweighed the sales they were going to get on on the PlayStation and the PC. Because the PC's asked out too. Which is a real shame, because when you think of the history of Tomb Raider, it was huge on PCs in the mid to late 90s. Sure was. It was absolutely... You might think, oh yeah, you, in your mind you're like, oh, PlayStation? No, no, PC, it was fucking huge. Yeah. You always saw those games come out the same day. At least when I went to Comp USA or Computer City, you always saw those weirdly shaped, you know, Tomb Raider boxes. Yeah, you always saw that. I played it on the PC. Well, I didn't play. I, mean, I didn't have a PlayStation. I played it on the PC. It was a PC adventure game first. I mean, part of the reason it got so popular was after years of graphic adventures and things like that. It was here's a console style game made for PC. The first one came out on PC long before it came out on the PlayStation One. But yeah, it's just it's it's ridiculous and I I just find the whole tone the whole look, if you can't explain why your game is system exclusive without coming off sounding like a fucking douchebag, then don't. I like how he says we consider you uh, uh, this is a uh, what was this Daryl Gallagher, the Crystal Dynamics head of studios. We consider you all to be the lifeblood of Tomb Raider. No, you don't because if you considered that, you wouldn't have maybe you wouldn't cut it off to like ten to fifteen percent of your, of you know, of your of your audience. Right. The game it doesn't make any freaking sense at all. No. So I mean, really, there's there's <laughs> not there's, there's there's just there's nothing more to say other than uh, his mouth is full of feces and they are falling out every time and, he opens them. And this is like you said, this is like a triple A title, right? This isn't a small. De- no. This the, is a big deal. When we talked about this initially, I thought you were just talking. I didn't even know that this was in the works. I thought you were just talking about the little uh, the download game, which. By all means, the first one was really fun. My friend Art loved that one. Uh, no, this is this is like a full-on sequel to The Last Tomb Raider, and it's Xbox One exclusive for zero effing reason. Did they see it do that much... The, the Tomb Raider reboot, did they see it do that much more sales on Xbox 360 versus PS3? I just can't see I that can't happening. I can't imagine they did, because if they did and Plus, there's PC sales, too. If they saw that much more sales, they would not have put the PS4... The Tomb Raider Definitive Edition... On the PS4. So this yeah, this, so this, is actually, this is this is almost mind-boggling to me. How how tone deaf you can be, yes. even if you're taking the money and like, oh, this is money. The bad blood you are you are getting right. from there's more there's more PS4 owners than Xbox One, correct? But there's also yes. a hell of a lot more PC owners than I, Xbox One. I don't play Tomb Raider, but I'm not buying it anyway. You know, like that. I mean, that's how angry I feel about it. Like yeah. now, I have no interest in even trying because you're just being shitty to your your fan base. Yeah, I don't get it. And plus, the worst thing about it on PC, no nude code we can download <laughs> for the PC version. Oh, Jesus. no nude patch. 